Eleanor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for agreeing to be interviewed in Atlantis. And my first question, of course, is how did you find out about Atlantis? It was a long time ago, you know. I joined the Avalon project and uh, I was searching for French lessons and uh, I have, uh, I, I found something here, uh, French with uh, Colondina Bracken, if my memory serves me correctly. This was very um, funny. I was very often her only pupil, so I made uh, progress uh, quite quickly. And did she introduce you to Atlantis? Yes, uh, uh, she showed me everything uh, here and in this way I learned uh, uh, some new words uh, uh, also, for example, uh, toboggan. And what, if you don't mind me asking, influenced your um, decision or your, your choice of avatar? Because when I first met you, um, you didn't look like this. Unfortunately, it's very trivial. I attend a course uh, with Annette uh, Fang. Uh, she teaches French in Vitlantis and uh, she asked us uh, to use low prim avatars. This dragon, uh, as you can imagine, uh, is a very light uh, avatar. In fact, I, I prefer uh, baroque gowns, uh, but uh, they are very heavy, even for Vitlantis. Ah, so your, your choice wasn't a fashion statement, it was more out of necessity. <laughs> I thought maybe there was a dragon inside, because we've known each other for quite a while. So, um, what do you enjoy most about um, sort of being here? How do, how do you spend your time here? You're learning French, but I don't think that's the only thing you do. Oh, of course not. Uh, I also teach uh, uh, French. Uh, we uh, prepare intermediate French uh, with uh, my Catalan friend uh, Shirana. Of course, we aren't native speakers, but uh, uh, sometimes we ask native speakers uh, for help. Uh, uh, so, to say it in French, uh, ça marche. Uh, besides, uh, I have started uh, Arabic and uh, I was curious if it's uh, possible to learn a foreign language from scratch, uh, but now I'm convinced uh, uh, it's uh, it's possible. What do you enjoy most about the aspects of teaching and learning in a virtual world like this? It's fun. Uh, we can uh, use different uh, avatars and uh, uh, look at uh, uh, things uh, we are learning about. Um, Sometimes there are technical problems, but uh, um, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, not uh, that tragic. And are there any downsides to teaching and learning um, in a place like this? Sometimes they are. I, I think uh, Second Life uh, has been constructed uh, uh, mainly for English. And if you learn uh, Arabic, you can't write uh, Arabic words in the chat window because the letters uh, get disconnected. You know, there are four shapes uh, and uh, uh, they depend uh, uh, on the position of a letter uh, in the word. But uh, uh, it's... Uh, uh, okay, uh, they are very skilled uh, people in Second Life uh, uh, who uh, can uh, find uh, solutions to everything. So one of Pubis uh, constructed uh, uh, a virtual board and now we can write uh, everything on this board and uh, it's properly connected. So now it's no problem. But, uh, of course, uh, uh, sometimes you have to be a bit patient. <laughs> ah, well, that's one of the things that, well, Second Life teaches you, patience. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, that's, uh, that's super. Come and learn French with a dragon in Vitlantis à la recherche du cerveau de Voltaire.